Rick welcome to Frank McKinney. Frank! tonight. I learned that I spoke at one of David's first meetings 21 years ago. I did not remember that. And yes, David, I, I was not a speaker nor an author, but now I've got six books in five different genres. Uh, one of those books and one of those genres is titled The Tap. The Tap is a book about being a responsible steward, steward for the blessings God's given you. In particular, this entire book is written as influenced by the passage from the Gospel of Luke 12:48 that says, "To whom much is entrusted, much is given; much is expected, much is required." And one of the reasons that David and I have been friends for so long is because he understands that, for those of you who aren't religious, it's a philosophy. If you're religious, it happens to be a fantastic life mantra that you can pattern your life after. To whom much is entrusted, much is expected. This room is full of people who understand that passage and are here to honor David after 25 years. There's a reason he's successful. You know, God wants to reward you as a responsible steward for the blessings he's given you by giving you more. And there's a reason he's been around for 25 years. Sure, he's got the personal branding thing down, which I could talk all about in a whole different Don't talk. talk. Hair. That's part of your brand. Who would think about hair being part of their brand? <laughs> <laughs> he understands the difference between inspiration, motivation, and aspiration. You know, motivation washes down the drain at night goes away with the soap. We can't stay motivated. Inspiration lasts about as long as a bad sunburn, but it wears off. But David has tapped into aspiration. He aspired to run the most successful real estate investment club in the country. I've spoken to hundreds of them around the world with my books. And he's still here 25 years later. As for me, I'm in the housing business. I build beautiful houses on the ocean, these multi-million dollar mansions on speculation. We've sold 44 houses since 1992 with an average selling price of 14 and a half million. 62 days on market, DOM is our average selling time. But the reason I do it, and it's a line that Nilsa gave me years ago, we built a lot of the big ones so we can build a bunch of little ones in Haiti. And we have built 26 self-sufficient villages with the help of many people in this room. I mean. If, if, if you have helped our Caring House Project Foundation, we've got Wander Strepo on our board, David on our board. Please stand up. Kevin, stand up. Ben, stand. Mark Evans, stand. Aton and Gabe, stand. Tassos, stand. I mean, the whole room. Uh, Doug and Heidi, stand. Uh, Yossi, stand. All these people helped us build. We are in the self sufficiency business. Charity exacerbates poverty. Doesn't solve it. Matt Matchler, stand. He's built like 15 houses. Thank you, Matt. And, and Chris yeah. Nelson. Fred DeFalco, stand. And, and we have built 26 self-sufficient villages. And later, we're going to have you help us. David doesn't know this, but we're going to have you help us build our 27th. And we need to build some. We're not there yet. And we want every single house in this new village that we're building and everybody's standing, I hope you'll help us. There is going to be a plaque with your name, today's date, and we're building it in your honor, David. Number one, hold that up. Nancy, stand up. David is number one. That's right. Because there's a reason that we're all here, and it's not to make more money in real estate or sell more books or do more deals and title, write more title policies. It's to share the blessings God's given you with those less fortunate. Each one of us has been blessed with the ability to succeed at some level, but those blessings were not meant for our sole benefit. They're meant to assist others who will never succeed at our level. That's to whom much is entrusted, much is expected. 
That's what gets me out of bed in the morning. I could have retired 15 years ago, but knowing that these children that we take care of Haiti, by the way, 12,000 children, they're eating mud patties flavored with bouillon and lemon juice. Dirt flavored with bouillon and lemon juice are not eating that because of the self-sufficient villages that all of you and you have helped us build. And we're gonna ask you to help us build some more. Thank you, David. Congratulations, David. And I'm honored to be here. Thank you, Frank. Don't move. Okay, now we have to build. My, my commitment was to send a soldier to Israel. Thank you, Michael. And to build a house in Haiti for our self-sufficient village. So we're gonna do that right now, all right? So 